Good morning. Hey, if I'm honest, my heart has been really heavy the last um, few days, and I just look around our country, and um, I'm just grieving. Like, how in the world did we get to where we are, where people are so hateful, so mean? I was watching this um, video of high schoolers. I don't know why they film everything, but they do. And this one kid on a hat on a political hat and the other kids didn't like it and they grabbed it and they spit in his face actually several times they full-on punched him and you know you know where they learn that adults I, I just don't know what's made it okay to to disagree with somebody even to hate somebody and that we get a start a fire or punch them or shoot them or shame them or whatever it is it's just it's beyond my comprehension and even if you're right but you're rude guess what you're wrong and you know I was also watching this video of this newborn baby in it from a third world country being rescued from a latrine and um, you know they're just such poverty and feels like there's no hope and so it's becoming more and more common for these women to give birth and so these men um, had ropes and a pole and pulled this baby from the latrine and and was covered in feces and urine and was just heartbreaking but you know those rescuers didn't care what neighborhood or what tribe or what political party that baby was in because they have not forgotten the value of humanity that that baby's life is worth loving rescuing and honoring and for some reason in our country we we think that we have to if we disagree we we hate you we have to ban you we have to harm you we have to burn your house down we have to come up on you in your car and shoot you it is just crazy and the hateful words that I hear are shocking and I was reminded of this verse that says um, a couple of them uh, God will not be mocked um, do not be deceived that what we sow we will reap and so whatever seeds we are sowing with our words or our behavior make no mistake we're gonna reap that harvest and I was also thinking about this verse it talks about on judgment day we are gonna give account to God for every worthless careless word that we have spoken we are going to reap what we sow and that should put fear into some of us and it should put hope into some of us and for those who've been sowing in love and in peace and choosing to do the right thing um, I just want to encourage you that your harvest is coming as well and to hang in there um, God sees and God knows and so can I just pray real quick um, Lord I'm thankful that you see and you know and the hate that comes up and the hate that is in our hearts and in our behavior and our words it is heartbreaking and these circumstances or politics what it does it reveals the content of our own heart they might blame it on certain people causing certain things but actually circumstances stir up the contents of what's really in our hearts and God what I know is that you love everyone for God so loved the world and God you love um, people of all colors people of all religions you love homosexuals heterosexuals you love blacks and whites and males and females and young and old you love everyone and God so should we I just pray that you would reveal to us more and more of who you are and that you would change our own hearts that our love would reflect your love and lastly God I'm reminded that you say blessed are the peace makers for they will be called children of God and may 
we even as we stand up for justice I thank you that we live in America where we have freedom of speech and freedom of religion but God help us as we stand up for justice and we speak Lord that we would do it in love um, and that we do it in peace in a way that honors you and God I know that um, there is no perfect politician no person that can save us no president it's you and our hope is in you and so God I pray that you would cause us um, to get our eyes off the horizontal and to be looking vertically um, for whom have we in heaven but you it's you God I pray that you would have mercy in our country have mercy on us um, we pray all these things in Jesus name y'all have a good day